Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Um, I am Nihad Awad, the National Executive Director of CARE. Uh, today I am joined by uh, local and national uh, Muslim and Uyghur uh, organizations uh, here in Northern Virginia, uh, around uh, Tyson's Corner, in front of the headquarters of uh, Hilton Hotels. Uh, we, today we're going to deliver a letter to the uh, president and uh, CEO of Hilton Hotel to request his company to stop construction of a Hampton Inn branch in China on a bulldozed Uyghur mosque. We have been in communication with the Hilton Hotel uh, to request them uh, based on uh, the reports that we received that Hilton has been involved in the construction of a branch uh, on a destroyed uh, Uyghur mosque. So right now we're going to walk to the main uh, gate to deliver uh, the letter on behalf of an inter international coalition. We hope uh, that we will be received uh, and uh, we'll hand the letter and we would like you just to walk with us and document uh, this very important moment. So let's let's go. Is there anybody inside? We just go inside. Okay. Good morning, how are you today? Good morning, how are you? Good, thank you very much. My name is Nihad Awad. Okay. I'm the National Executive Director of CARE. I'm joined by representatives of Uyghur and National Organization. We'd like to deliver this letter to President and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Christopher Nasseta. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, what's your name? My name's Kevin. And your position? Here? I work down here in reception. Okay, so are you able uh, to take I'm this ha letter? I'm happy to take the letter and definitely deliver it to its proper location. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, Absolutely. have a good day. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you. So, we did not have to use the tape uh, to. Yes. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. My name is Ibrahim Hooper. I'm National Communications Director for CARE. Uh, we'll just do a quick impromptu uh, news conference here for. Uh, people who have uh, come out to help us deliver the letter. Uh, first, we'll hear from Iman Durrani with the Free Uyghur Now uh, Media Director, just to say a few words. Hi, Salakum. Thank you so much, Care, for having us and organizing this effort. Um, on behalf of Free Uyghur Now, I just want to say thank you for everything that you guys have done. And um, China has gotten away with committing genocide and atrocious acts for the Uyghurs, including forced labor, ethnic cleansing, religious oppression, and so much more. And part of this is because of corporate complicity. So organizations like the Hilton are complicit in allowing this genocide to occur every single day in China. We are calling upon the Hilton to ensure that this doesn't happen anymore and that they uphold their company values to make sure that this isn't going to happen anymore, that the Hilton will not stand by China in committing these genocidal acts and be on the wrong side of history. Thank you. Thank you. And now we'll hear from uh, Mustafa Aksu with the hum a Uyghur Human Rights Project. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mustafa Aksu and I'm from Uyghur Human Rights Project. We are a research and advocacy based uh, group campaigning for the Uyghur human rights on the basis of international human rights standards. In 2019, UHRP published a groundbreaking report demolishing faith, the destruction and desperation of Uyghur mosques and shrines. It documents complete or partial destruction of over 100 mosques by the Chinese government. The destruction of the mosque is not happening in a few isolated cases. Since 2017, the Xinjiang government has demolished or closed an estimated 16,000 mosques. The bulldozing of the mosque is a part of the genocide of the Uyghur people. The destruction of the building is just not the most visible 
of the persecution of Islam and the persecution of the Uyghur people. And in May 2021, my organization published another devastating report, Islam Dispossessed, China's persecution of Uyghur imams and religious figures. It details the mass detention of the Uyghur and other Turkic Muslim imams in East Turkestan. In 1930s, a key turning point in the Nazi destruction of Jewish people was Kristallnacht. On November 9, 1938, Nazis in Germany tortured, torched uh, synagogues, vandalized Jewish homes, schools and businesses and killed Jews. It's called the Night of Broken Glass. After that, the Nazi concentration camp began to fill up. This became a path to the mass murder. Hilton should know this history. Bulldozing a religious building is not just about the buildings. It is a way to destroy a people. Uyghurs around the world are calling on Hilton to stop its plans for a Hampton Inn on the site of destroyed mosque in Hotan. Members of the Congress are calling on Hilton to stop its plans. No company should profit from a genocide. It's time for Hilton to do the right thing. Thank you. Next, we're, we'll hear from Tahir Herzala, American Muslims for Palestine. Thank you, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. On behalf of American Muslims for Palestine, I'm here to extend my utmost solidarity and support to our Uyghur brothers and sisters suffering an atrocious genocide at the hands of the Chinese government. We are here to tell the Hilton enough is enough, enough of putting profit over people, enough of choosing corporate interests over human rights, enough of allowing China to continue its genocidal acts against the Uyghur people, enough of continuing to whitewash China's genocide by building a hotel over the ashes, over the ruins of a Muslim holy site. This makes Hilton party to China's genocide of the Uyghur people. This makes Hilton party to the ethnic cleansing and erasure that the Uyghur people are suffering at the hands of the Chinese government. And we are here to say that we will not be party to any business with Hilton so long as this practice continues. And we will engage in a national and global boycott of the Hilton company if necessary. And if the Hilton company does not oblige and respond to the letter that we submitted today. Thank you very much. And again, thank you to CARE for its leadership on this very important and pivotal issue to our ummah and to our community. And lastly, we'll hear from Amar Ahmed with the Islamic Circle of North America Council for Social Justice. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The erasure of custom, culture, religion of the Uyghur people is genocide. And as the speakers before me have said that Hilton is now complicit in this genocide of building a hotel on top of the ruins of a masjid, on top of the ruins of an Islamic center, and the American Muslim community and the Muslim community at large should participate and engage in a boycott of all Hilton hotels unless, unless if our demands are met and they stop this project altogether. ICNAS, Council for Social Justice, stands in solidarity, stands with its Uyghur brothers and sisters, and we thank um, everyone for coming out today and for CARE's leadership for delivering this letter. JazakAllah khair. And finally, we'll hear the concluding uh, remarks by CARE uh, National Executive Director, Nehad Awad. Thank you, Ibrahim. Uh, thank you, members of the delegation. So today, um, September 8th, Wednesday morning, in Northern Virginia, in front of the headquarters of uh, Hilton Corporations, we just delivered a letter, a demand letter, to the president and CEO of Hilton Corporation to stop the construction of a branch of uh, Hampton Inn on the ruins of a bulldozed mosque in the Hotan region that belongs to the Uyghur community. This is part of the genocidal campaign that China has been leading to erase and destroy the religion, the culture, the language of the Uyghur people in that region of the world. 
We were made um, aware of this project uh, in early June, and we immediately informed the Hilton Corporation of their obligation to respect human rights and put human rights above financial interest. We have been in indirect and uh, in indirect communications with uh, Hilton Corporation. We have uh, uh, written and uh, spoke to mediators, uh, uh, through mediators to them, asking them that they have to stop lending a legitimacy to the gen genocidal campaign of China against the Uyghur people by stopping their engagement in the construction and licensing of their name brand to a corporation that is helping in erasing the Uyghur culture violently. Miles away from that site of the mosque, a genocidal campaign has been taking place as we speak against the innocent children, women, and families of the Uyghur ethnic group. We believe that Hilton should not be party to it. Hilton should respect its own policy of respecting human rights. We are not telling them to do something extraordinary. We are asking them to uh, abide by their own policy on their own website to put human rights above financial interest. We are also echoing the call from the Congressional Committee that uh, sent a letter to the CEO and President of Hilton, Mr. Christopher Nesetta, asking him and appealing him to stop their engagement in the construction of this branch in China because it sends a clear message to the Uyghur Muslims and people around the world, including customers of Hilton, that Hilton does not care about the suffering of people. It only care about making a buck. We have given Hilton one week from today. We hope that they will do the right thing by declaring their intention and their decision of stopping the construction of this branch of Hilton brand on, the, uh, on a bulldozed mosque. Next Wednesday, if we have not heard a positive answer from Hilton, we will be obligated to call on customers of Hilton around the world, including Muslims, to boycott Hilton brand. Individuals, corporations, nonprofits, mosques, community centers, church, synagogues, companies who have a choice of doing business with Hilton, then they have the right and obligation to send the message to Hilton that a global boycott will, global boycott will start if Hilton decided to go ahead with the construction of their branch at the ruins of a mosque. We hope and pray that the Hilton leadership will hear this message clearly and loudly and do the right thing. Otherwise, a global campaign of international and local organizations will not rest unless a global boycott will begin to send the message to Hilton that human rights is above financial gains. Thank you. And if you want to uh, follow this campaign, uh, you can follow it at CAIR.com or Facebook at CARE National, Twitter at CARE National, uh, and we'll have updates as, it go along, as we go along. And just to restate that this is not something we want to do. This is a moral issue. This is something where we have an obligation to do. So it's not something we will end demands are met. Thank you and uh, stay tuned uh, for further, further updates on all our social media. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Salam alaikum.